this initially quite frightening question uh, actually just relies on the use of two equations from radioactivity. You've been given the half-lives of two isotopes of uranium and you've been given the ratio between the abundance, the number of uh, atoms present uh, of, of those two isotopes. At the current time, you need to find the abund relative abundance of those two isotopes uh, 10 to the power of 9 years ago. So to start with, we need to use the equation, which is lambda times t equals log 2, where t here is our half-life, and lambda is the decay constant for that particular isotope. So uh, lambda of 2, 3, 8 is going to be equal to log 2 divided by t, log 2, the question has asked us to approximate log 2 to be 0 0.7, so 0 0.7 divided by 4.5 times 10 to the 9, which will give us this fraction here, 7 divided by 45 times 10 to the power of minus 9. Okay, and we can do the same thing for the activity rate of 2, 3, 5. So it's going to be 0 0.7 again, log 2, divided by this time 7 times 10 to the power of 8, which will give us answer of 1 times 10 to the power of minus 9. The next equation we need to use is that the number of undecayed um, particles, well n, is equal to the initial quantity, n0, multiplied by e to the power of minus lambda, which is our decay constant, times t the length of time that has elapsed. We know that at the current time, the ratio between the number of uranium-235 isotopes and the number of uranium-238 is 0 0.0072. So why don't we form ratios out of both sides of this equation? So n two three five bracket zero. So this is this is the initial abundance ten to the nine years ago of n two three five multiplied by e to the minus lambda two three five times t, which will be uh, ten to the power of nine, and all of that divided by the equation for 238, which is going to be n238 brackets 0, the initial abundance of n238, multiplied by e to minus lambda of 238 times time. Okay, now this part here we know is 0 0.0072, and this part here is what we're seeking to find. Let's call that r. Zero. We can now write our equation then as 0 0.0072 equals R0 multiplied by E to the minus lambda, let's just call it lambda 5 for the sake of uh, brevity, T divided by E to the minus lambda 8 T which means R0 multiplied by E to the minus. Now, lambda 235 is one, to the ten, ten, 1 times 10 to the minus 9, so 1 times 10 to the minus 9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 years divided by E to the minus 7 over 45 
times 10 to the minus 9, again times 10 to the pos positive 9 years, and we can start to tidy those up a little bit. We're going to get R0 multiplied by E to the minus 1 divided by E to the minus 7 over 45. Now we've got some approximations we can use in the question here. It says that um, E is approximately equal to 2.7, which means that E to the minus 1 must be 2.7 to the power of minus 1. And for small values of x, e to the x is approximately equal to uh, 1 plus x. So we can say that 1 minus, because it's minus 7 over 45, 7 over 45 is our denominator here. Let's keep tidying this up a little bit. So we get r naught 2.7 to the minus 1 divided by 38 over 45 which gives us r naught 2.7 to the minus 1 times 45 divided by 38 okay now we need to rearrange the equation to get r naught so r naught will be equal to 0 0.0072 multiplied by 38, multiplied by 2.7, divided by 45. I'm afraid you've got some uh, long, long multiplication and long division to do. I'm not going to talk you through all of those steps. So our final answer comes out as 0 0.016.